This insurance crisis, it runs deep, far, and wide in the state of Florida, from homeowners to lawyers to the insurance companies themselves, uh, which are pulling out, as we've mentioned, in record numbers going under, or they're just raising your rates suddenly. And no matter what lawmakers agree on this week, some fear it's not going to get to the very root of the problem. That's insurance fraud and the constant avalanche of lawsuits that's really sucking the industry dry and leaving you paying for it. I was pretty frantic, uh, especially I live in a flood zone. It was the last thing homeowner Roham Ansari wanted to see. So I didn't think anything of the notices that I was getting. I opened one at the beginning of the month and it said that the company was going bankrupt and my policy was being canceled and I needed to find a new policy by May 28th. And just like that, Roham, like hundreds of thousands of Florida homeowners this year, was sent scrambling to find a new insurance company to cover his home. It's a rat race mortgage brokers are trying to walk their clients through. A lot of clients in, that are coming to me where they used to have five or eight different carrier options to choose from, various premiums, various coverages, are down to probably two or three, and in some instances, only one. And that one option is often the last option. Citizens Property Insurance, the state-backed agency that's now seeing a sudden flood of essentially refugee homeowners who can't find coverage anywhere else. That's not good because if a hurricane hits Florida and Citizens, which is basically backed by you, the taxpayer, ends up having to pay out billions of dollars in claims, well, let's just say you're probably not in good hands. Florida, because it is a hotbed of people to come to. It's been widely publicized through the pandemic. Everyone's moving to Florida. Great weather, no state income tax, affordable housing up until now. And so now on the week before hurricane season begins, Florida lawmakers find themselves in a race against time and climate, scrambling to pass some kind of deal or legislation that will stop the massive bleeding in the insurance industry. The kind of bleeding that's led to at least nine insurance companies going into receivership. Tens of thousands of homeowners seeing their home insurance suddenly dropped and countless more seeing their rates double, even triple. Insurance agent Jake Holhouse says don't blame the insurance companies, blame the lawyers who are feasting on Florida's laws which require insurance companies to pay for a full roof replacement if there's any kind of storm damage. That rule has led to massive amounts of fraud. What essentially occurs is you have roofers um, in areas such as like the villages in Orlando and Lutz where they go into a neighborhood that was built in 2004. So they know that every roof in that neighborhood needs to be replaced in the near future and they just find one day in the past two to three years where they think hail could have occurred. And so they go door knock and they sign on a claim by doing a free roof inspection and they represent that they're part of your insurance company. And then they essentially get the homeowner who doesn't know any better to sign on this claim. The insurance company tries to deny the claim because it's wear and tear. It was never intended to be covered in the policy and it's not covered in the policy in any state except for Florida. And so then what happens is essentially the carrier goes into litigation on it. Florida has over 100,000 lawsuits against insurance companies. The rest of the country combined has roughly 1,000. This is why insurance companies are either going bankrupt or jacking up your rates or just canceling your coverage. Either way, you're the one paying the price. You're the one whose home is on the line.